Well, hey everybody, I'm back. I've got another power pack session. Today I've got Ray the video guy. Definitely got these no introduction. What's happening, Ray? Oh, not much. Just hanging out here and doing all the uh, the fun video things every day. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, uh, I think. let's see, we got the same mics? Nope, we don't. I no, wonder. I, I think I, 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 you're, in, you're in a small screen, but I believe you, I, I actually almost did purchase that mic. This is the RE20, and I believe, which one's yours? Is this that is the, the Heil. It is the Heil. Okay, that was the, uh, this the two is that the I went Heil. back and forth with. <laughs> it's like, it's like my Schwartz is bigger than yours. Yes. Remember that? <laughs> and one of these, one of these days, I'm going to have an audio engineer come in here and make sure I actually have it set up properly. And that'll be kind of cool. So. Yeah, you know what? I got all these mixers and processors and everything over here. I'm clueless with this stuff, yeah. right? I've got like, you know, foam hanging on the walls here. and Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Well, you sound good, man. Your mic sounds right. good. So all I can say is thank God for Bob. Bob's the guy that takes care of me with all this stuff because I'm really good with the Internet. I can't mm -hmm. even turn my TV on, truthfully. <laughs> <laughs> Got a technically challenge. So check this out, Ray. So obviously you do a lot of video and everything, right? Yes, and indeed. you have been around for a very, very long time, right? I have. I'm, I'm, I'm 27 years old now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> or at least I was a few decades ago. Me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think we're some of the veterans here. We're some of the old guys, right? These guys are all really young, right? No, it kills me, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So um, you came aboard with Everlesson back in August when we launched the first time, right? Absolutely, I sure did. Yeah, and you are using it all the time. You're very, very active in the group and everything. So that's why I wanted to interview you because I believe that you could be an unbiased testimonial and you can help people understand what all we're doing with Everlesson. Nice. Yeah, and, and you know, the cool thing is um, I've used a lot of different membership platforms. Uh oh. Probably, yes. <laughs> no, I really have. You know, and, and it's kind of one of those things where I've jumped from one to the next, and then the next product I tried another one, and then, a, you know, and and we've run into a lot of issues in the past. Um, the biggest one being I used to do most of my membership sites on my WordPress. Oh, okay. And that was not cool. Um, no. There's just too many issues where, you know, WordPress gets hacked or my no. own hosting. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Come what a on. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you know, my hosting is probably not going to be the most reliable all the time. Things are going to happen. It's going to go down. And what I love about some of these newer platforms, yours included, is the fact that they're hosted on faster servers, more reliable servers, you know, that I don't have to worry about that kind of thing. Because if something goes down, if my website goes down and those membership sites go down, I'm probably not going to be able to fix it. Right. And I don't have to figure out how to get somebody to fix it. And if it go if if you know something goes down on your end, well, I just have to go, hey, fix it, you know. So <laughs> yeah. that makes a big difference and, and is a big help. And also, you know, my WordPress sites tended in the past to go very slow. If I did a launch and a whole bunch of people jumped on there, you know, half the people couldn't log in because it was just too busy and oh, and the video is taking a half hour to load. And you know, having it hosted off site on a on a server that is meant for that makes a huge difference. And, you know, since I've switched from WordPress, I've actually gone from a few different membership platforms. Some of them I actually liked, they worked very well, but, um, you know, there was, and I, and I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, I'm not going to mention names per se, but uh, I had one platform that was actually pretty good, mm -hmm. but it was very, very limited. You know, it, it, if you just put your videos up there and people got to watch them, you know, it worked. It wasn't pretty, it didn't have a lot of features, but it worked. Okay. Um, then another one came along that was very popular and it had a lot of features, <laughs> but. <laughs> you know, they're dying. These people are dying and go, come on, Ray, know, right? tell us, well, tell us, well, tell know, us. <laughs> right? well, the problem that I had with the next one was it actually was, I actually enjoyed using that particular platform, but here's where the issue ran in. I would do a launch and I had so many people contacting me going, I bought it. I'm not, I don't have a password. How do I get in? It wasn't sending the password. Oh, no. I would go into the platform. I'd find the person and I'd look up their name and password. I'd try to log in and it wouldn't let me log in with their name and password. Oh, I had no. to delete them, put them back in. And I was back and forth with them the entire time going, what the heck is going on with this? And it was, it was just an absolute nightmare, even though, 
I actually liked the platform if mm -hmm. it was working, right. but it wasn't. And then, of course, uh, you guys came off, you know, with uh, with your new platform. And I said, OK, we got to check this one out. And there was a couple of things that I instantly loved about the platform. OK, I am not a tech guy. I, I, you know, as much as I do technology, as much as I have to learn technology to do a lot of what I do, I'm not really the tech person. And what I loved about this was you build the site in steps. Mm -hmm. You know, literally, it's like, okay, you start, you know, what, what, step one, do this, step mm -hmm. two, do this, step, and then you've got, a, you've got your membership site and you're done. Yeah. And that was it. And I absolutely loved the fact that it did it that way. It just, you know, I didn't even have to, and, and I don't recommend this for everybody, but I didn't even have to really watch any of the training videos. I just kind of jumped in and did it. Good, and it good, good, good. Right That's what I love to hear. Guess what? I didn't have to watch the training videos either, and I knew how to do it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but That's... here's the cool part. We did a launch. We had a lot of people coming in, and guess what I did not have? What's I did that? not have support issues. I did not have people Good. contacting me. Everybody who bought was in the site. It yeah. just plain worked. Good. And, you know, I mean, yeah, we had a couple people that would contact us because they – forgot their password or whatever, you know, silly questions, but not, Hey, it didn't work. How do I get in or anything like that? It just worked. It worked well. Everybody's been happy with it so far and it's just continued to work since then. Yeah. Now, you know, unlike some of your, your guys, I mean, who have probably launched five or six products with it. Now uh, I only have two in there right now. One of them is a very active one though, with a lot of members, a lot of people that bought and it just plain worked. The other one was a smaller launch that I did with just my existing people. But again, they were able to get in, they were able to buy, they had no issues, and it just plain works. Great. So I'm very, very happy with that. Great. So now, you know, the reason why we created this platform is because I have a lot of experience building membership sites myself, like over 10 years. And I have a lot of frustrations I, I, I don't know how many sites I've lost. I don't know how many times I sat there and watched that little WordPress thing just spin and spin and spin and spin and spin and spin. I don't know how many times I've had to drop in elements and create cells and everything else. And I felt like I spent so much time just trying to get the damn membership to look halfway decent, right? Mm -hmm. And so I vouched with this one. I'm like, you know what? Let's make all that go away. Let's take all the obstacles that go away. Let's Let's just have them... Focus on creating content, creating products, because that's how we're going to help these people get paid, right? Yep. And so that's what we did. Absolutely. And so we have the uh, phrase stupid simple, right? We believe that we built a stupid simple program where we just do 95% of the work for you. Now, having said that, one of the biggest frustrations I had with these other platforms is I had so many ideas how to make them better. So many ideas. It's like, you know, if you could just log in here and do this, or if you could add this, or if you had the ability to turn this off or, but the thing is, I was not a voice. Nobody was going to listen to me. And I never, ever saw developments. I never saw changes or anything else. So having said that, we are always updating things. We're always, you know, adding new features and everything else to make sure that our customers, they know how to create membership sites. But the challenge was getting members in the door. Not everybody knows how to launch like you and I do, Ray, right? Yeah, well, it's questionable whether I do or not, but... Uh... Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we had to go out there and we had to teach them to use social media and everything, get the members in the door, and then turn those free members into paid members, right? So we really started focusing a lot on the platform on here's how to do exactly that. Because when we launched, the first thing we taught them, which I thought was going to be the biggest challenge, was go out there and sell these membership sites to businesses, Lo and behold, that wasn't a challenge at all. We saw people knocking out sites for 10 grand, 20 grand, like all the time, wow. right? We were always seeing those live feeds come in. So we're like, okay, that's working. So then we had to start focusing on the digital marketing side of things where people who are just at home and they want to make decent profits with membership sites, right? So we had all these ideas for all these features and everything. But what I'm getting at here, the thing that's different is when I was a customer before, I was not a voice. Nobody cared. If I sent in a support ticket that said, hey, you know, it'd be great if you guys could make these changes or that, they might respond and say, oh, well, we're open to it. We'll look at it next time we launch or something like that. But nobody's going to get anything done. And you are just as much of a voice as I am. If you make a post, say, you know what, guys, it would be great if it did this. Right. I'll look at it and go, 
that makes sense. And I can see how everybody can benefit. We'll get on with development that night. We'll be like, let's get it done. Somebody made a suggestion the other day. They said, okay, number one, it would be nice if we had the ability to clone lessons. We're like, how do we miss that? Right? So that was on that night. The second thing, nice. she says, I love my video library. It would be nice to have the ability to search throughout your videos. And I'm like, that's genius. We can do that. So we did that. But then I got to thinking, well, what if you could add tags to your videos, right? You so go. as of today, Ray, guess what? That suggestion was made two days ago. Today, you're able to add tags to your videos. Oh, that's great. Now, you being a video guy, you definitely appreciate that, right? Absolutely. That is a wonderful thing. Yeah. So it's a new concept. And it was like this before we even launched. Because what we did, I don't know if you know this, we put out a survey a year before we started building this platform. And we asked our customers, what would you like to see in a membership site? And everybody told us exactly what to do. We looked at all the answers and we started laying out a plan. We laid out five phases of development. We're only on number two, right? And so we did just that. But I realized, I'm like, that created such an amazing synergy because our customers actually owned up to it. They actually felt like they were a part of it with us, right? So before we even launched, we were running webinars and stuff saying, hey, guys, this is a feature we're thinking about doing. What do you think of that? And then they give us their ideas. They give us their feedback. But they're all excited, and it created this synergy. So even after the launch, we did everything we could to keep that synergy in the group, and we make sure that everybody has a voice, right? Nice. Yeah, and and that's wonderful. And and I've gone to the, I've been on the Facebook group and you know asked people about things. And and not only do you guys respond, but what a great group. I mean, I had somebody, I was trying to figure out one little thing. I said, hey, I want to be able to do this. How do I do that? You know, because again, I hadn't watched. You know, so I started watching the instruction videos. But and this one girl, she jumped in. She she came in. She showed me how to do it. She set it all up. And she didn't work for you. You know, she wasn't somebody getting paid. She was just. I know. person in the group who knows the platform like crazy and she's like oh yeah you can do that just do this do, do it. there it was it was done isn't that amazing oh it was, it was unbelievable so the I fact know. that not only you guys are responsive like that but the members are so willing to help each other and that's a, a big part of what makes it great yeah and honestly i didn't see that coming but i've had my eyes opened i've always heard for the last 15 years ray that if you just take care of your existing customers, the money follows. Mm -hmm. I've always been one to go out there, I need more traffic, I need more people, yeah. I need more traffic, <laughs> I need more people. Because the more people you have, the more money you're gonna make, right? Yep. You will drive yourself ragged doing that. You'll have a freaking heart attack after a while, you know, because you, you keep doing new strategies, new strategies, new strategies, and all it comes down to, and pff, took me 15 years to figure this out, take care of the customers you have. I will 100% agree because we do, uh, we quietly launch products only to our own people and we do very, very well doing that every time. Wow. You That's know, awesome. Without having Todd uh, mail for us or. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, right? So yeah. that's, that's good to know. So at least I know there's hope for me. <laughs> Sweet. So, okay. So you're somebody who has been frustrated with membership platforms in the past. And so yeah. what are your favorite features of Everlesson right now? Well, one was what I mentioned earlier, which is just that very easy step one, step two, step three process of setting it up. Uh, I found it extremely easy. And this is what scared me. I, I got to be honest. This is the one thing that scared me, which was very easy, was the, the integration with Warrior Plus and JVZoo very easy to do. I was able to figure it out. And if I can figure it out, anybody can figure it out. Yeah. So I, I loved that. And just, you know, the creation of the modules, very simple to do. You know, there's nothing complex about it. It's just set up and go. And I like the, the way that the, uh, the file set up so you could put your files in there was very easy to do. So it was all just very easy. And that's what I've loved about it. Now, there, I know there are a ton of features in there that I haven't even touched yet that other people's have, people have used. I know, you know, m my particular membership sites aren't necessarily lessons, you know, where uh, a lot of people do, you know, okay, this is lesson one, like a classroom. And, and mine aren't necessarily that, at least not the ones that I've put up yet. And, but I love the fact that people can go in and they can check off what they've completed. So when we do have a membership, you know, they, oh, they, they did lesson one, check it off. Yay. Hey, give them a prize. 
you know, that really got me excited. I haven't used that feature yet, but I've got it in the back of my pocket here, you know, ready to go that when I do a, a lesson based membership to be able to give out those prizes, that is a very, very cool feature that I haven't even touched yet. So I'm looking yeah. forward. And you know, what's really cool, Ray, because you knock out products left and right. What if you were able to use your other products as rewards? That's, We've got that set up too. That's right? exactly it is, you know, jump in there and do that. I, I love it. I think that is a great feature. And I don't think anybody else has had that feature, at least not that I came no. across. With these, and, so. and the other thing, you gave me an idea for one of the strongest features we have inside of Everlesson. I caught a thread inside my launch suite, inside my launch suite group where you mentioned a software that you were using where you could go and put together existing bonuses really quick for all of your products yeah. and it handles the access and everything else. So I don't know if you know this or not, but when I read <laughs> that thread, I'm like, we can do that with a membership site, right? So we have it set up to where you can create a brand new membership, Ray, and you could have a hundred different memberships in there and each of them have like 20 or 30 products each, but you create that brand new membership. And did you know that you can pick and choose instantly the existing products that you want in that membership? Oh, that's, see, now that could be very, very exciting. I'm, I like that idea. Yeah, so now think about it for Black Fridays or think about it for custom bonuses. And it doesn't affect the memberships where you originally pulled the products in from. That's beautiful. And not only that, you probably didn't know this either. I'm just kind of teasing you because you don't know all the features. Do you <laughs> know that I can take one of my memberships out of my portal and I can export that file over to you and you can import it into yours? I, I actually did know that did because uh, so it was mentioned to me that a while back, um, I believe Karthik was talking about something related to that. Yep. So I knew it was somewhat possible. I've never done it, and I, you know, yeah. haven't really had a need to yet. But uh, I have heard that that was a possibility. So, but see, you're the That's perfect amazing. example why we built it like this. Every software I develop, I try to have where you have the bare basics. You have everything you you need. Just boom, get you set up as fast as you can. Even Easy Links is set up the same way. You can go and create a tracking link, boom, like that. But yep. then. If you want to get more complicated, you want to fire off pixels, you want to track this, you want to track that, then we have advanced options for you, but you don't have to have them. It's the same with Everlesson. You can get set up, boom, like you can literally create a module, a lesson in less than a minute, right? It's two yeah. clicks. It's boom, create the lesson, boom, drop in the video. And if you want to put in a resource, that's it. You're done. You can literally create a lesson in less than a minute, but... If you want to get more advanced and you want to do the drip feed and you want to do the gamification and the monetization, everything it's there, but you don't have to have it. Well, you know, and there's one other thing that we haven't even mentioned in there and, and, and I haven't mentioned it because I haven't even really used it yet is the, the sales page is built into the system. Um, you know, now with my products, I actually already had sales pages, so I didn't have to use that, but the fact that that's built right in there, I mean, that saves people a ton of time. It does. But, Ray, let me explain something to you. I'll show you here in a minute. We got your screen up here. Uh, when you click on that My Products tab, if you have mm -hmm. other products, so the way Everlast is set up, it's set up to where you have a membership, and then you have products underneath your membership. The way it's set up, when they're inside your product and they click My Products tab, you have all your other products that are available and you can turn them off if you choose to specific ones. Like if you have like a special or something like that. Okay. So then they're going to click on that product and they're going to be taken to your sales page. Now, guess what, Ray, you just said that you have existing sales pages. You yeah. don't have to use our sales pages. You take right. your existing ones and just go plug it in and your existing sales pages will be tied throughout the whole entire system. Yep. I love it. And that's a, that's a brilliant thing. And, Anytime we can cross promote different products like that and people can stumble across other things. Yeah. It just means more money. So we love that. Yeah. Love and, and, and that's the other thing. So you probably haven't had a chance to get into our monetization yet either, but do you know that all your products, you can now assign tags to them. And so nice. if somebody comes in for free or they buy, then we take those tags and we attach it to that customer. And then when you have other products or you have like affiliate banners that have those matching tags, then we're able to display your other related products or those banners to your customers that have matching tags. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on here, Ray, but that's perfect. I'm glad that you're sitting here saying, you know what? I got set up with the bare basics. I'm out there crushing it. I got members coming in. They're happy because that's exactly what we wanted. Yeah, you know, and it's funny because uh, you and I, I mean, we didn't plan having this interview. I mean, literally 15 minutes ago, you said, hey, let's do an interview. But 
early this morning, I was actually talking to my wife who could care less about any of this stuff. <laughs> But I was talking to her about it anyway. And I said, you know what's funny? And in this case, the, the membership we're talking about is one called Instant Spokesperson. Uh-huh. I said, that is a 100% full business unto itself. Somebody could run that and live off of just that membership site and make a good living off of just that. It is a business all by itself. And it's all run through the system. And, you know, it, it just kind of does its thing and, and makes money every month, whether I do anything or not. No, yeah, there's some things I need to do every month and add things to it or whatever. But if I just walk away, it's going to continue to make money month after month. And, you know, it, it literally would be a good business for somebody by itself to run. I mean, it's, it's that powerful of a system that it's a, a job and a business unto itself. So what does Instant Spokesperson do? Uh, what that is, is it is... Uh, it's going to be a little bit different than a lot of the membership sites people have because essentially it's it's got training in there, but it is more of a delivery system of products that we create. And what we create are videos for local businesses. So we create plumbing videos. We create doctor and lawyer and, and you know, vape shop and, and trainers and, you know, whatever it is. And these are generically built videos so anybody can come in. Let's say you're a, a marketer who helps dentists. You come in, you download the dentist video, you put their logo on it, put their information, and now you've got a video that you're selling for a thousand bucks, right. and it took you 10 minutes to put it together. Right. Uh, so that's what this is, and there's a couple hundred videos in there already that people can download and use when they're members, and so it's a, it, it's just a, a full platform for that unto itself, and it's got lots of other things. It's got you know extra music and graphics and videos wow. that they, you know, video clips that are in there and things like that to, to enhance the videos. But uh, essentially that's what it is, is sets of pre-made local videos. And so you're using Everlesson to host all that. Well, uh, what I do is I, the, the actual downloads, the, the downloads themselves are hosted on S3 because right. they're already there. Although, uh, you know, with the bill getting up there, I mean, I want to look at some, uh, <laughs> some other alternatives. <laughs> you now Amazon S3 is now officially the, the largest bill I pay every month. So, wow. uh, that may have to change, but um, yeah, it, it, we host those there, but they're linked into the membership site. So they log in and they access their files from inside there and download them. And we've also got trainings that are in there so they can go in and learn how to use them, how to edit them. All of that is inside the modules as well. Can we take a look at it? We sure can. We got it right here, shockingly enough. So um, so what we're looking at here, this is the uh, the main page for the actual site itself. And these are the different levels. So we've got what we call the essentials, which is just a, a small set of videos that people can get in on the base level for. We've got the pro. And what that does is that gives you, uh, the way that we structure these is, like let's say you download, you buy the essentials. You get a, a lawyer video. You download the lawyer video. It's ready to go. And you just do a quick modification and, and you can sell it. What we do is we, in the pro version, people can actually download the raw materials for that video. So the original green screen video with the actor on the green screen. Okay. And so now they can truly 100% customize this to their local business. Okay. And really break it out. So that's the pro level. And then we have what we call the extended, and that's just another set of videos that are in there. And then the big one. This is the one that, um, you know, really makes the difference in here, which is the club. The club gives people access to all the videos. Okay. When you're a club member, you can you can download from hundreds of videos that you want to use. You can download all your video clips, your trainings, and everything else. And that's what we'll open up here just because uh, I think that's the best one to take a peek at. So if we open up the club, and hopefully – oh, good. I was going to say I hope I have a membership to my own club. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ray, before you go into this, how hard was it to set up all those access levels? Did you find it easy? It was actually very easy. And, and again, you know, I mentioned setting up in JVZoo and being a little nervous about that and, and finding it very easy. Um, that's a part of that that kind of kept me nervous was, gee, how do we set up these different levels? You know, they buy this, then they upsell to this. It was very, very easy to do. Okay. Not hard at all. Good. So uh, anybody getting and, – and I consider myself a newbie on this. So if I can do it, anybody can do that. Okay, so here we are inside the club area. Now you can see at the very top, we've got a video, which is just an introductory overview video. Mm -hmm. And down below that, we have the club, which is 
if we click on that, this one is, there's not a lot on this one here. Well, there is, but it's not video lessons or anything. It's literally a list of all the different videos you can download. And you can wow. see this. Okay. We've added new ones in December. Mm -hmm. okay. And of course, at the bottom, you can go back to the other modules. Mm -hmm. Now, if we go into, let's go back here. Underneath this, we've got all the bonus information, which will look pretty similar to the club, except it'll be bonuses instead of the videos. But then we get into some of the more training lesson videos. So, for instance, here, creating more than one video, mm -hmm. it's just a, a quick training course on how to take those existing videos and make more videos out of them. So, you've got a plumbing video and you want to, you know, let's say you've got a client in Chicago. Well, you can take that one video, you can turn it into 10 different videos for that one client by making minor modifications. And we show you how to do that very quickly. So, it's, uh, you know, very simple lessons. As I said, the main thrust of this one is downloading all the files, mm -hmm. not necessarily training. And we've got more training lessons in here. So this one is uh, how to add graphics with the video editor. And so it's, you know, it's just the basics like that. It, there's nothing crazy or special about this particular one. It's very easy to use, how to do green screening, how to use, how to export your videos properly, you know, how to add text to the videos. Mm -hmm. you know, just a nice, simple to follow Download your videos, watch the trainings, and you're good to go. You know what's so. funny to me is you really are down to the bare basics here because you even have like the default template and everything. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and, and actually, you know, it is the default template, but, um, it, you know, I, I did actually look at the different ones and I thought that was a really nice one. And yeah, yeah obviously, I haven't changed the background. <laughs> That's cool, though. You made it work, right? I did. It, it works perfectly. You know, and it, hey, it makes sense. It's a local, it's a local city there. I think that's Boston. If I, I could be wrong on that, but it looks like it might be Boston in the background there. And, uh, you know, hey, we're doing local videos. So it makes perfect sense to, uh, to keep it nice and simple. And for the first one that I built, why not? Yeah. I did cool. change the, in the login screen. I do have a nice image in the background there. So I did change that. Cool. Cool. So that makes sense. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's that simple. And, and, you know, we go back home here, if we look at some of the others, the essentials pack here, you can see it's a very similar type of thing. We've got the the, uh, the different listings here. Yeah, I'm back over on the camera, though. Oh, I, okay. I didn't tell you that. <laughs> hey, that's okay. But, you know, it's the same thing. You go into there, and on, and on that one, when you go into the essentials, I actually used the, the downloads tab. So the tab in there, you click it, and it pulls all your downloads. It's not just listed like in the other one. So Sweet. Yep. There's and definitely the a lot more you can do with it, Ray. There's there's a there's a <laughs> lot of money you're leaving on the table there with all the monetization and everything. Well, and you know what? Like I said, I mean, we're talking about a, a six figure membership site there by okay. itself. Really? Uh, mostly automated, and that's with me just doing the bare basics with this. So wow, just, just taking care of your customers. Absolutely. Sweet. Awesome. So, Ray, do you have any advice for anybody who's thinking about getting into, uh, you know, creating their own membership sites or creating their own products or anything. What, what, what do you, what advice do you, I mean, you just created a six figure product that you don't even have to go out there and, and do big launches or anything. No, nope. you know, a, lo a lot of the guys, let me, let me, let me just say this. Cause there's a lot of buzz around the term six figure, right? So a lot of the launches that we see out there, they do six figures. That's a big number. But after you go and you pay $50,000 to your affiliates, mm -hmm. and then you turn around and pay your developers and everything else. I think I figured it out one day in a webinar where it comes down to about $13,000 that goes in your pocket when it's all said Absolutely. and done. That is definitely the case in a lot of these things. And the fortunate thing for me is this is not really software. I don't have developers. I have very low costs, which is nice. And so it's, uh, you know, this really is a six-figure business in there on that. So. Okay. So what advice do you have to somebody who wants to do that? The biggest thing is you got to plan and you got to do it. Uh, I see way too many people who will come and they'll buy a product like this thinking, oh, I'm going to buy this product. I'm going to be a millionaire. Right. Well, guess what? Owning the product doesn't make you a millionaire. It makes you $300, you know, poor until you do something. Right. With it. So you got to get out there. You got to work on it. You got to have a plan. You got to have an idea and then you got to put it into action. You know, that's, you know, we, we have the luxury of working from our home, right? I got mm -hmm. my nice warm cup of coffee here. The fire's on. It's like negative 33 degrees outside, right? So we have that luxury, but I'm here to tell you, I believe that we work harder um, than most people who have a nine to five day job. I believe that yeah, to be true, definitely. right? We, we have the lifestyle. We have the, the, the 
potential for setting our own schedule, but you know, honestly, how often are you here at uh, you know midnight? How often are you here at five a.m.? How often are you here? You mm-hmm. know, most of the day, and it's quite often. It really is. But at the same time, for instance, we had things going on Christmas time. I was able to break away. I was able to go and do all the things with family that we wanted to do. Right. Uh, you know, I, I did discover one thing though. While we're always trying to grow and do the next big thing, I did discover that all my current businesses. When I come in and I work eight, 10 hours a day, I discovered I really probably could work two or three hours a day and, uh, you know, keep it going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think, Me uh, too. you know, it, it's always a matter of, of, you know, putting the priorities out there and really putting the effort into it. But if you do, it, it will work. You just got to plan. You've got to know what you want to do. You got to have something that people actually want, but you got to put in the time and you got to put in the effort. Let me ask you this. We're running a little bit long, but I got this last question sure. for you, Ray. Do you find that if you're not sitting here in front of a camera or a screen, or if you don't have the keyboard and the mouse right here in front of you, do you find that it gets to be a little oh, uncomfortable? Boy. You know, I, <laughs> it's funny you say that because that is 100% me. If I go out into the living room and watch a movie 10 minutes into it, I feel like oh, I shouldn't be doing this. You I feel guilty. I do. I feel guilty. I do too. You know, it, it's a very hard thing. And, and uh, you know, on, on Shark Tank, so I, obviously I do watch some things once in a while, but I remember Mark Cuban talking about this and, and saying, you know, entrepreneurs are very special types of people and, and special in, in quotes there because we're paranoid. Yeah. And, you know, we have the ability to live a great lifestyle but we also have that burden of what can I be doing right now? I should be doing this. I know actually. that's it's the, very that's hard the to same problem I have. I, I went, you know, I was so burned out. I did three interviews the other day, <laughs> two webinars, and I went live twice. That's all in one day. Nice. That's a busy day. And I'm like, you know what? Whoa, I'm burned out. So I'm like, I'm going to go watch TV. I couldn't even figure out how to turn on my TV. I called up my daughter. She told me what to do. I finally got it. And I sat there and watched a whole entire uh, just a whole entire episode of The Prophet. I'm I'm with you. The Shark Tank, The Prophet, Silicon Valley. I like The Prophet. The Prophet's actually a pretty good one. And then I like I like that American Greed show too. That's that gets my curiosity, yeah. right? So um, I, I watched a whole entire hour, and then the whole time I couldn't even tell you what happened on the show because I'm feeling guilty. I'm like, man, I could be getting this done. I could be doing. It's like a sickness. I don't it, know how it, to turn it, really it off. Can be. Yep. I, I, I said uh, I need to learn to play video games or something because, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I go to Vegas and, and I'm out there hanging out with friends or whatever. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I, I need to check on this. I need to check on that. Like, I need to be yeah. in front of a laptop. But everything was fine. Everything was running. It's just it's it's all in our head. Right. And we don't have it, to be it really doing is, those things. You know, and my wife says it to me all the time. I, I have to a lot of times purposely, if we're going to go somewhere, purposely take this, put it on the desk and leave because if I bring it with me, I'll constantly be checking PayPal, checking this, checking messages, know. you know, and it needs to just be broken away. It, it, it's hard to do, but at the same time, it also provides that opportunity, that lifestyle that most people don't live. And, you know, I mean, I, I was reading recently, I think the average, what's the average income in America? It's like $51,000 a year. I know. Um, you know, and, and I'm not sitting here trying to, you know, get us to brag about different things or whatever. But, you know, when you can do that in a month, I know, you know, and, and again, you know, you don't necessarily keep all of that every time, but if you can do that in a month, when other people are doing it in a year, that's a big deal. Yeah. It really is. And it doesn't, yeah. you know, I, I always, I, I kind of joke and laugh, you know, they talk about the, the, in politics, they kept talking about the, the, the 1% and the 10% and all that. And, you know, I laugh because probably half the people commenting on that, are part of that 10% or 1% and they just don't realize it. Yeah. You know, we, we are a very lucky people and we do really well with these things. If we work hard at it, right. And we're willing to put in the effort. And you know, if you're thinking about doing something like this, you're already part of that group of people that thinks differently. You yeah. just have to put it in action because most people will not even think about something like this. They will go through their daily lives, nine to five, you know, and and that's good enough. And, and that's all they care about is, you know, get off at five and, and enjoy my life and go back the next day and let other people control what I do. 
I, I don't think I could do that. And, and, you know, if you're watching this, you're probably one of those people who probably can't do that as well. So this is a great opportunity to do that. Sorry, I'm choking to death here, but yeah, uh, it, it definitely, it definitely takes a special breed. We are, we are the oddballs. <laughs> we definitely are. And I wouldn't change, I wouldn't trade that for the world. <laughs> so he was speaking the truth. I literally got on and I said, Hey Ray, I had another interview scheduled, but they canceled on me and I'm like dressed nice and everything. Can I do an interview with you? I gave him no notice. This is what came of it. Ray, thank you so much for sharing your experience with us. And I believe I owe you an interview. We do. Yeah. We've got, uh, well, you know, I, I've kind of dropped the ball on that just because of the holidays and everything else, but yeah, we we'll have to get together and do that talking specifically about what we've talked in the last couple of minutes, which is mindset. So good, 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 good. That's a, that's a big one for me. So that's a big one for me. So let's get that scheduled again. Thank right. you so much for taking the time. Thank you for your endorsement. I appreciate it. Anytime. And uh, let's, let's connect and I'll show you how to take that six figure business even further. There's a lot of cool things that you can turn on. That would be a wonderful thing, and I'll definitely take you up on that. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Ray. And everybody else that tuned in, thank you so much for your time. And on that note, I want to wish you all the best. Take care.